We are now going to multiply and divide with variables. And I think you'll find this easy. Let's say I have x squared times x cubed. By definition, x squared means I have x times x. x cubed means I have x times itself three times. So in reality, I have x times itself five times, which is x to the fifth. Let's say I have a times a squared. If I have no exponent, a 1 is understood. So I have 1a. a squared is a times a. So in reality, I have a to the third power. So, instead of putting it in expanded form every time we want to multiply, we can see we have a rule. x squared times x cubed, I end up with x to the fifth. a to the first times a to the second, I get a to the third. So, what did I do to the exponents? I added them. So, in multiplication, I add exponents. So, the only thing bigger would be if I put a coefficient in. Let's say I have 3x to the 4th times 4x to the 5th. I multiply my numbers like I always did. 3 times 4 is 12. I add exponents. I get x to the 9th. So even though I'm multiplying, because of the definition of exponent, what it means, we add exponents. So the only thing a little bigger is if I would add another letter. So let's say I have 5x squared y times 2xy to the 4th. So multiplication, we multiply our coefficients, and I add our exponents letter by letter. So x squared times x is going to be x to the 3rd. y times y 4th is going to be y to the 5th. No big deal. I could have more than two factors. I could have something like this. Let's say I have a squared times a times 2a to the fourth. I just have to multiply my coefficients. 1 times 2 is 2. I add exponents. The only thing you got to be careful of when people make a mistake, they forget that that's a 1. Just because there's no exponent there, a 1 is understood. So it's a to the 7th. It's not to the 6th. Right? So it should be easy. All right, we'll do division. Division is easy too. Let's say I have x to the 5th divided by x to the 3rd. x to the 5th means I have x times itself 5 times. x cubed means I have x times itself three times. Anything divided by itself is one. We know five divided by five is one, three divided by three is one, x over x is one. So these x's go to one, these x's go to one, those x's go to one. So I'm left with x squared. All right, let's do another one. Let's do a to the fourth divided by a a to the fourth is a times itself four times. I have 1a. Anything divided by itself is 1. That goes to the whole number 1, not the exponent 1. So I get a to the third power. So I can see a pattern. x to the fifth, x cubed, I'm going to get x squared. a to the fourth, you got to remember that's a 1. I'm going to get a cubed. So what did I do to the exponents? I subtracted them. So an easy way to remember, multiplication makes things bigger, we add exponents. Division makes things smaller, we subtract exponents. All right, so now we'll just make this a little bigger. Let's put some more letters in. Let's have 15, x to the fifth, y to the third, z squared, divided by three x, y squared, z. 
I divide coefficients. 3 into 15 is 5. I subtract exponents. You've got to remember that's a 1. So I'm left with x to the 4th. y cubed divided by y squared gives me a y. I subtract exponents. I'm going to get a z. Hopefully, easy. This is the one people get wrong, so we'll see. Let's make it 20. A to the 7th. B to the 4th. C to the 5th. Divided by. We'll make it a 2. We'll make it A to the 5th. B to the 4th. C. So, 2 into 20 is 10. I subtract exponents. I get A squared. Now what happens with my b's? If I subtract exponents, I'm going to get 4 minus 4, which is 0. So I get b to the 0, but it's not a 0, because anything divided by itself goes to 1. So my b's cancel out to the whole number 1, not the exponent 1. Subtract exponent c to the 4th. But because 1 times anything is itself, I wouldn't leave it like this. So my answer would be 10a squared c to the 4th. So we have to know that you should not have a big.